Entering into the PBA, we know that, of course, as a point guard, uh, napakalaki ng responsibility that is in you because you run the system for your team. You were, you know, in a team filled with a lot of talented players as well. How did you command respect kahit na bata ka pa heading into the PBA? Kapakaswerte ko, uh, Carlo, because si Coach Yang yung una ko naging coach sa PBA. Before kay Coach Yang sa, sa college, sa PBL, si Coach Jolly pa, Willie Generalao, uh, Bernie Fabiosa, and yung last is si Adonis Tierra. They all, uh, most of them played point guards. So, pagpasok ko kay Coach Yang, as uh, kilala niyo naman kung ano yung temperamental, uh, very vocal, very challenging yung mga words na ginagamit niya. Pero, pagkausap mo siya personally, mabuboost yung moral mo eh. motivate ka. Even you're playing against, uh, with uh, Varel Meneses, uh, Nelson Asaitono, uh, Rudy, Al. Al had a very good year mm -hmm. bago ko dumating. Pagdating ko, I think kahit pa paano, nakakumpita ko eh. I was competing in practice. Yeah. That's one thing siguro nakita ni Coach Cheng. I was competing with everybody sa lahat, sa loose ball, sa possession, and I wasn't backing down. As you said, Coach Cheng Yao, always you know, a fiery coach. Lahat ng players na, na naging coach ni Coach Cheng from, from your team, from Red Bull, Rain or Shine, now to NLEX, may mga storya lagi. May, may moment sila with Coach Cheng <laughs> na hindi nila makakalimutan. The best way that you can Without, you know, mentioning, you know, the specific words, <laughs> what was a moment that you'd never forget with Coach Yang? I think the, that game against uh, Johnny Abarientos. Uh, PBL. Bigyan ko lang kayo ng konting uh, brief. High school ako, every time kalaban ko si Johnny, zero ko parate. I'm so afraid of him. Talagang pag makita ko pa lang sa basketball court, I, I want to pass the ball. I want to run away from him. Pagdating ng PBL, there was one game na tinalo ko si Johnny, Chris pa siya noon, uh, AW ko. Then, pagpasok ko kay Coach Yeng, tinalo ko siya nung isang unang-unang game namin. And nabalitaan ko, Johnny was, was so down, and binawian niya ako. Alam mo, pagkabalik doon game ni Johnny, ang ginawa sa ni Coach Yeng, mm -hmm. parang ang daming uh, challenge, challenging words na sinabi niya sa akin. That's why I strive more to to compete with Johnny nung, nung mga panahon na yun. Your first championship, what did that mean to you? Uh, never ako nag-champion ng college. Never ako nag-champion ng national team. Uh, ang last championship ko was fourth year high school. Three years ako sa PBL, I, I didn't win anything. So pagkapanalong, pagkapanalong, parang feeling ko, wow. Uh, Napaka-thankful ko, napaka-babait ng mga kasama ko sa team. Mr. Yanga, Boss Joey. Talagang, uh, they gave me yung uh, baptism of fire, kung paano manalo. And then, of course, hindi nagtapos doon yung pananalo mo ng championship. So, you eventually moved on to the San Miguel Beermen, where you picked up even more championships. Can you talk about the hard work that goes through you know, winning a championship? Siyempre, hindi ka na bata. As a, as a point guard, you matured, slowed down maybe a little bit. Pa parang dumoble ba yung kailangan mong trabawuhin just to get that championship? Actually, roller coaster ako nung sa, sa, sa Sankis na sobrang high. Pag lipat namin ng Swift, nagpalit yeah. na kami ng pangalan, nagkaroon ako ng injury, uh, iba yung mga coaches, iba yung set of players. So up and down, up and down yung career ko. And uh, I remember that time with Coach Norman, hindi kami magkasundun dalawa. Mm -hmm. uh, I was, I was so uh, mad na parang bakit hindi mo ako mabigyan ng chance and everything. But uh, nung, nung nakalipat na ako ng San Miguel, the first thing Coach uh, John told me was not to compete with the uh, Olsen. Just be, just be a reliever. Do what, you're supposed, what, what we're asking you. Coach Ron was there. So I cannot, uh, I cannot say no. So everything was set off the, right off the bat. So... I just did what, uh, what they're asking me to do. At nagbunga naman with more sobra, championships sobra. with the San Miguel Beermen. And of course, sa pagtatapos ng uh, PBA career mo, you transitioned into coaching. You also transitioned into broadcasting sa PBA pa rin. Was it a natural role for you, the next stage of your career? Uh, Kinokomento kanina doon kay Mike. Sabi ko nga, nung nag-uusap kami ni Olsen, mga first few, few years na magkasama kami, 
ang dream ni Olsen is to be an analyst. Ako siguro coaching side nandoon. Nabigyan ako ng opportunity to to coach, to be an assistant. Na delegate sa akin yung scouting, um, tendencies sa mga imports. So sa mga coaches, pinapanood ko rin ko ano yung mga tendencies nila. So nakita ko eh, nakita ko madali magbasa para sa akin kasi pinag-aralan ko 'yon. So nag-enjoy naman ako. Nag-enjoy ako dun sa mga trabaho na 'yon.